I'm Vincent Simonetti. Most people call me Vince. My name is Ethel Simonetti, and right now we are here at the Vincent and Ethel Historic Tuba Collection. It's the only museum in the world that we know of that only features members of the tuba family. We have almost 350 instruments throughout the five rooms of the building. We have many examples of instruments that are one of a kind, the, the only one left. We are several collections together here. I was a professional musician. I went to school in New York City at the Manhattan School of Music in the 60s. And I auditioned in 1967 in New York City to play with the North Carolina Symphony as principal tuba. During the day when we were doing nothing, because the performances were all in the evening, I would use my time to go to different music stores to look for unusual older instruments. The first instrument that I ever collected was during that time. I stayed with the orchestra for eight seasons, from 1967 till 1975. Vince would be in the newspaper sometimes because he conducted the local symphony orchestra. We had both been in different ensembles locally, and um, we ended up in the same church choir. Uh, when I saw Ethel, I, I knew I'd seen someone special. <laughs> and when I discovered she liked classical music, that's quite rare these days. <laughs> I guess the rest is history. So here we have one of the largest sousaphones in the collection. See, the bell is here, it's been taken off. That's considered a large valve bore. It's a removable bell. So they call this their jumbo model. Which way would the large end point? It's backwards. The majority of the collection uh, we obtained during our time with the Tuba Exchange that we started in 1984 and we operated it until 2011. The mission for the Tuba Exchange was to provide the best instruments for mainly schools around the country at affordable prices. During those 27 years, people would bring in instruments to sell or trade. Some of them were so unusual, I just couldn't sell them. So I, I would either pay for them outright or trade them an instrument, then I kept them. It's very heavy. It weighs over 50 pounds, I'm sure. We had sold the tuba exchange business to another couple uh, in 2011. They had made the commitment to move out of this building. And when they moved out of this building, I decide, we decided that we would open it up to the public because we had this unique collection. We had a grand opening in 2016. The instruments that we have here are really the fruits of those business experiences and just the precious instruments that we wanted to keep as our own collection to share with the public. Our visitors come from all over. They come from Europe, they come from Durham, they come from all over the country. And some of them say, well, I live close by and I've been driving past here for years and wondered what it was. When they come, I open the door and I say, welcome, welcome to, to the, the Vincent and Ethel Semeni Historic Tuba collection. collection. And then I would take them to all five different rooms. I ask them questions about instruments and try to get them involved in the tour, which takes almost an hour and a half. Many times people come here with a particular thing in mind that they want to either photograph or see up close or, or consult with Vince about. Here we have the oldest instrument in our collection of almost 350 instruments. It doesn't look like a tuba, it doesn't look like anything. It's called a serpent, and I love to say, don't get too close because it is a serpent, and it's actually made out of wood, not brass, but because it has a mouthpiece that you blow into and vibrate your lips, it's technically considered a brass instrument. During the Civil War, the musicians were considered more expendable than the troops, so they put the bands in front of the troops, and in order for them to hear the musicians, they made the instruments blowing backwards. 
About 15 years ago, we were recognized by the state of North Carolina as a historic and cultural destination. They recognize that what we have done has value and interest. So we're very pleased to be a, a hybrid museum and also a collection. The Vincent and Ethel Simonetti Historic Tuba Museum is located at 1825 Chapel Hill Road in Durham, and it's open for viewing to the public by appointment only, with suggested donation every Tuesday and Thursday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. If you're interested in visiting or booking a tour, you can email, call, or text Vincent at 919-599-3791 with your requested visit date time, and number of visitors. Learn more on their website at SimonettiTubaCollection.com.